You and your friends want to tour the Southwest by car. You will visit the nine states below with the following rather odd rule. You must cross each border between neighboring states exactly once. So, for example, you must cross the Colorado-Utah border exactly once. Can you do it? If so, does it matter where you start your road trip? What fact about graph theory solves this problem? Let's answer this last question first. This question is about trying to find an Euler path for a graph that represents the map. Recall that an Euler path is a walk through a graph which uses every edge exactly once, which means if the graph that represents the map has an Euler path, then you can cross each border between neighboring states exactly once. To represent the map as a graph, number one, we draw a graph with a vertex in each state. Number two, we connect vertices if the states share a border. Number three, we determine if the graph has an Euler path by checking the degrees of the vertices. And again, if there is an Euler path, you will be able to cross each border exactly once. Let's begin by placing a vertex in each state. And now I connect the vertices if the states share a border. For example, California and Nevada share a border. California and Arizona share a border. Arizona and Nevada share a border. Nevada and Utah share a border and so on. You need to be careful here. Both Colorado and New Mexico do share a border with Oklahoma. It's small, but it is a border. This indicates there's an edge connecting New Mexico and Oklahoma, as well as an edge connecting Colorado and Oklahoma. And now to determine the degrees of each vertex. Let's start in California and work clockwise. We have degree two, degree three, degree three, degree four, degree two, degree four, degree two, degree four, and degree four. Recall that a graph has an Euler path if and only if there are at most two vertices with odd degree. Notice we have exactly two vertices with odd degree the remaining vertices have an even degree, and therefore the graph does have an Euler path. So again, since at most two vertices have an odd degree, there is an Euler path, and you can cross each border between neighboring states exactly once. However, however, for an Euler path, you would have to start at a vertex with an odd degree, and then end at a vertex with an odd degree, which means you must start in Nevada and end in Utah, or vice versa, since these vertices have odd degree. Before we go, let's go ahead and show a possible Euler path, which would be a possible trip that would satisfy this rather odd travel rule. Let's say you decide to start in Nevada. So you're going to start here, which means you will need to end in Utah. And now let's form a walk that uses each edge exactly once. and the walk ends in Utah. This is one possible Euler path or a road trip that would satisfy the rather odd travel rule. Notice how this does result in you traveling to several states multiple times. I hope you found this helpful.